Hi everyone. Uh, this topic I will talk about Delta H POC, MOBAS difference and link with a uh, DOP one hundred HMI. For H POC, we have a uh, several series. So, uh, for motion controller one would be a uh, H five hundred series uh, with the uh, IP address uh, one ninety two point one six eight point one point one. A uh, rest of models would be assigned as a uh, point one point five. So come to a uh, DOP uh, SOP setting. Here you can see for motion controller type, uh, we select uh, H500 uh, TCP uh, with the IP address I uh, just mentioned. And for standard ASPOC, uh, we select a uh, list uh, controller type and with the IP address uh, 0.1.5. Come to a uh, mobile address, uh, you can see we have both uh, inputs uh, either in the symbol X or I. Uh, IQM here is the based on the IEC objects. Okay, and come to uh, outputs uh, in S500 series would be used the symbol Q and for standard use a Y and data register would be a D and a M. So you can check the mobile address uh, for uh, the POC our uh, inputs start from 6,000, okay, and here you can see also uh, 6,000, and for the output be uh, a, a triple O, so here also a triple O, and data register start from this uh, zero, okay, so actually both sides are consistent. Then here we'll show you an uh, example, what's the difference uh, if we use the same um, configuration. So this one is for a 500 series, so you will see uh, inputs, outputs uh, would be used uh, I and Q. But uh, for a uh, standard POC, we use the X and Y. Then uh, this one is for the data register, use uh, M, uh, percent uh, MW, and here will be the standard D uh, device. In today's example, I will use the parameter from a uh, server drive and we use the uh, HMI macro uh, to control the SPOC output status. And here you can see we will use the IS485 link to the uh, B3 server drive and use the LAN cable Ethernet uh, link with uh, AS500. Uh, just a reminder, uh, this port is for Ethernet, so uh, for standard uh, Ethernet we connect to this port. Now we switch to the software. So this one I already created a project. So first of all, uh, remember to select the driver. So here we select uh, S500 with the IP address. Then uh, we assign the HMI IP address to uh, 100. Okay, after that uh, we go to configuration and here uh, we enable the VNC function. Uh, because we want to use the servo parameter P two uh, zero to control the state uh, output status of uh, ASPOC, so here we assign to uh, object. First one is for to read the value. Second one is to write the value to a uh, servo parameter. And because as, as we already mentioned, we connect with the servo drive with uh, IS forty five. So here we select the. Delta controller ASCII uh, with uh, IS-4857E1 on uh, 9600 station 1. Okay, and then for the output status, uh, we use the uh, simple indicator. So we start from uh, QX uh, 0, 0.0 and totally we have uh, at output. So the, that means the uh, maximum we can control is uh, 255 over here. So now we can uh, download the program. Oh, sorry. Uh, before that, uh, we have to write the screen uh, cycle marker. So this one is uh, we get the value uh, from servo parameter and write to the outputs of uh, ASPOC. So after that, we can uh, download the program to HMI. So once uh, download finish, uh, we can. Uh, XX uh, through VNC viewer. So the default password is uh, from 1 to 8.
Okay, so now you can see the value is uh, zero. So we can now uh, double check uh, from Asta shop. So you can see now the value is zero. And then we can back to the VNC viewer. Uh, now we change to one. So you will see uh, only one uh, output on. Then we change to uh, one five. You will see four. And then we change to two five five. Okay, I'll change back to one to seven. So you will see only seven. And back to uh, two five five. Then we can confirm again from here. Uh, basically, we won't use the uh, servo game uh, to control other uh, products. Uh, but here, just uh, as an example to you, uh, to explain how to use the macro to control a uh, Delta A500 POC. So hope this one can help you understand more. Thank you.